everybody and thanks for stopping by for a video episode of Bernardo's Tech Blog. Today I have a little recycling project for you. I have some old uh, two liter soda bottles here and I'm going to use those to make a broom. For this project you're going to want to have at least three two liter soda bottles and if you have a few more than that, that works better. I have a total of five here that I'm going to use today. And the first thing you're going to want to do is remove the labels from those. Once those labels are all removed, the next thing you're going to want to do is to cut the first bottle. And you want to cut it about an inch below uh, the end of the curve. So after the, the bottle becomes straight, go about an inch down and you want to cut right there. And this is tricky because there's nothing to uh, keep you in line as you're cutting, so you could easily get it crooked. What I've done is uh, just take two pieces of standard um, 8.5 by 11 paper together and I made sure that uh, the edges are lined up and that gives me one longer sheet of paper. And then what I can do is wrap that around this bottle like that and then that will keep me straight as I cut it. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is take a utility knife and just score the plastic right along the paper all the way around and I'm doing that because um, that way I can get rid of the paper and be a little more efficient with my cutting but that way I'll have a mark to go by so I get a straight cut. Now I'm just going to cut all the way around with the knife. Okay, this is what you need out of the first bottle. Now for the next bottle I need to cut off the bottom and most soda bottles have a line right there that can be used to keep you straight as you cut. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to use the same method I did before which is just to uh, keep the knife relatively stationary and just roll the bottle with my hands and um, that seems to work the best. What I'm going to do now is just use the scissors and make a cut up through here all the way to where it starts to curve. I'm going to make one cut and then I'm going to move over about a half of an inch and make another cut and do that all the way around. Okay, here you can see I made those cuts all the way around so I have a bunch of half inch um, pieces of plastic coming down here which will be the bristles of the broom and that means I'm done with the second bottle. Now with the third bottle I'm going to do almost the same thing I did with the second one. I'm going to cut off the bottom and then I'm going to make those cuts um, up along the bottle um, up to where it starts to curve. And I'm going to do that all the way around keeping them about uh, half an inch in diameter the only thing I'm going to do different on this third one is that I'm going to cut off the snout. Uh, so about an inch down, right here, I'm just going to make a cut all the way around. Other than that, this third bottle will be done the same as the second one. Okay, and now I'm done with the third bottle. As you can see, I have um, the bristles around the bottom and I've cut off the top. Now I mentioned at the beginning that you can use just three bottles or you can use more than that and if you have extra bottles that you're going to use um, what you'll do is cut them up exactly the same way as you did the third bottle um, and so just cut however many more you have just the same way you did this one and once you do that then you'll be ready to put the broom together alright to get this finished up you're going to need something to use for the handle of the broom if you're in survival mode you can just get a stick out of the woods or you can use an old broom handle or wooden dowel or something like that now preferably you want to get something that's the right width and what you want is so you can slide a bottle on but it have it be rather snug. I happen to find one that uh, works almost perfectly. I did have to sand down the end just a little bit. Now to put the broom together I'm going to take the bottle that still has the neck on it and put the other ones that don't have the neck down over top of it like this. And you have to wrestle some of those bristles to make sure they're all straight and not bent over. And just do that with each one of them. Now 
now I have the bottom of the broom together. And now I'll take the first bottle that we cut, the one with just the top, and I'll slide that onto the broom. Put it about four inches up. And then take the rest of the broom and slide it on next. And you're going to slide it up against the other one. Like that. Now I have everything attached and all I have to do is fasten it so it stays put. To do that I'm going to take a drill and drill a hole in the neck of the top bottle and right down into the handle underneath of it. Then I'm going to take a screw and put it in that hole to make everything secure. Now I'm going to put a board here to protect the table. And I'm going to flatten out the broom by pressing down on the bottles. Then I'm going to take the drill and drill down through all the layers on both sides of the handle. Finally, the last thing I need to do is take a wire, and I'm just using a section of wire coat hanger and feed it down through that hole that you drilled, through all the layers. I'm going to thread the th wire through one side and then we're going to bend it around and thread it right back through. Once you get the wire down through all the layers and back up through, then you're going to want to twist it together on the other side and just cut off whatever's left. Once you have the wire in place, the broom is finished. Do me a favor and rate this video by pressing the like or dislike button. Or better yet, just share it with a friend on Facebook or some other social network. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.